Hi, this is Threadhead TV with Jude Bell. Thank you for joining me on this episode of How to Make a Baby Ball. And it's no ordinary baby ball, it is two balls in one. Stay tuned. Find a free baby ball template on the internet as your pattern. Fold it in half and leave a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Then use the first one that you cut as your template as it will stick to your fabric better than a paper template. Then lay out all your pieces as you want them in order. Pin only one side, two at a time, together. After completing all your pinning of these pairs, open them up to make sure that they are in the right order. This is a very important step because it's easy to pin the wrong side. Then sew that one side only, one quarter inch away from the edge. Now you will have 12 pairs of triangles sewn. Press to set the stitches. Then open up the seams and press again, as well as you can given its cup shape. The most important part of the seam that you press open is at the point. Now we are ready to sew two pairs together in the same manner that you sewed the original pairs. This next step is important to note because this is the way that you can make the top of your ball look very professional where the points meet. It means I need to shift this over when I pin because I want it going straight through. But actually, I'm going to be about a fourth of an inch away from the edge. So that's where we need to line it up, and that looks perfect. So we're going to do it right there, really slowly, one stitch at a time. At the end of this seam, we want to stop and back stitch. You stop it at exactly the point down in the seam where the two meet, and that will give you a precise top like this. So, going through the center of the seam on this side, make sure it's going through the center of the seam on the other side, and then we're coming back up through the center seam, exactly in the middle. Then we need to make sure it hits the middle of this. This is not as important on the flaps as it is on the ball. And then we pin, see if those right sides are together. We're gonna pin the sides that we sew. At the top, make sure that your needle is down in the fabric at the seam before you pivot. Then clip off that point. Press before turning right side out, then turn right side out and press again. The stitch length for top stitching on my machine is somewhere between a three and three and a half. Now we're ready to attach the flaps to the ball half. I used a 5 8 inch seam allowance here. Then I cut away about a quarter of an inch off this raw edge 
so that when I attach the bottom half of my ball, I can use another 5 8 inch seam allowance. That way my original line of sewing will not show. Make this same trim on the other half of the ball. Leave the flap side right side out, turn the other side inside out. Place the other side on top of the flap side and pin. Leaving an opening wide enough between these two colored pins, as you can see here, is my opening and I used color pins to remind me that I needed to stop sewing at those points. This is my opening that we will turn it right side out and begin stuffing. I duct tape the eyes with six beads inside. Now we're gonna tuck it in to the center there. So if you wanted your ball a little bit weighted, you could use probably two of these would be good. And what I would do is duct tape them together and then I would tape or sew a casing for them before I put them in here so that they would never bounce the outside and make it hard. But that's if a kid needed more of some kind of therapy ball. I used about a half bag of polyfill because I wanted my ball nice and firm. When you blind stitch the opening closed, you want to make sure that your stitches do not show on the opposite side. I had to rip these stitches out and start over again. You start the knot on the inside and you make sure that you have a good, you know, about a 5 8 seam turned under. And then inside here, I'm going to leave the knot and come out on this ridge here. The main thing is to get the knot on the inside. And now I can begin my slip stitch or blind stitch. I made a knot right here. I double knotted it. And then I stuck my needle down in and through up here and pulled it up through here so now my knot is hidden down in there I can cut this end off and there you have a very unique baby ball that will make mom and dad just about as happy as baby thank you for joining me on Threadhead TV come on back for more great projects